Hello YouTube, it's me again, Philip. I'm back to something completely different. Despite having a bunch of other Let's Plays and shit going on, I'm kicking up another. Funny, ain't it? Anyway, uh, so yeah, this time I'm playing Sanctum 2. Now, now it's pretty. It came out just a couple of days ago, actually. It's not that old. Anyway, if you don't know what this game is, it's a tower defense uh, first per uh, person shooter type thing, game, something like that, anyway. Um, so I'll be, you and, and I'm just gonna jump straight into this. So if you haven't all have already noticed, I've already unlocked pretty much everything in the game. I've been playing this pretty much non-stop, so... Since I got the game, I pre-ordered it and all, only a day before it take, but I'm pl uh, probably only going to play on my own the campaign. But I am going to... Uh, play all of the maps, so there's that. So yeah, uh, sh I don't know. Should I don't know if I should have just... I was unsure if I should have done this earlier or not, but I'd say just to say fuck it then. Well, just play, finish it up everything, get everything unlocked and then play it. A little uh, comic thing here is pretty funny. Uh, Woo! Back in the game. Stosu, I have played the first Sanctum, and Let's I was get started. Uh, actually surprised to see a sequel to it. I mean, it's indie and all that, but uh, that's so nice. You killed a walker. Congratulations. Yeah. Is that supposed to be a camera? <clears throat> what kind of camera is that? Especially if you hold. I'm pretty sure you don't hold your hands over your over the cam. <laughs> camera on like that. Yeah. Pretty sure you get some pretty bad pictures that way. So yeah, uh, I was honest, honestly surprised to see a sequel to this game. Uh, not that I don't didn't mind, of course. Uh, I when the first Sanctum first came out, I liked the game actually, and holy lag. Incoming. I actually liked the original game. Oh. Ow. Right. But it was lacking, definitely, in some areas. Especially the difficulty was fucking retarded. I, for, for a majority of the game, I was forced to play on uh, easy to even finish the fucking game. And that's funny. Just running in so far. Keep screaming. Uh, but yeah, I had I was forced to play on easy through large parts of the game. Not saying I was I'm bad at this game or anything, but or the original for that matter. But this thing was ridiculously hard. It was it wasn't exactly balanced. I'll say that. And I I like to see myself as a decent player. I consider myself a decent player, Can, um, so seeing as I had so much trouble only with that, it's a disturbing thought. Oh, sucks to be a knight. Right. Well, that got the hurt. Sucks to be a knight too. Bye bye. Ouch! That that okay, just so fucking disappear. That's nice. I'm just gonna get rid of you because you're completely fucking like, useless over there. You also be useless over there. I need the money for church, not fucking life in church. The jackal shit over there. Cannons somewhere, they do stuff. Well, too, good. So, yeah, this game is quite different from the origin. Uh, of course, it's, it's based around okay, Saints. Space Drum, same thing. Tower defense in the first place, person perspective. So, if your towers can't handle it, you can easily just jump into the action and start shooting yourself with this. Of course, it was a lot less polish and shit like that, so. But then again, it was indie, so who can blame them? That seems to be all of them. Yeah, well, well one more turn. And, uh. Yeah. 
I don't know what to say really. This game is, in my book, a lot better than or, than the original. It fixed a lot of the issues I had with the original. Not enough tower bases. Not enough. What could I give you? Then? Uh, anything else? No. Don't <coughs> So yeah, there's more weapons, there's uh, more balanced towers versus monsters versus weapons and versus all that shit. In the original, you basically had to spam. Uh, you basically had to spam all kind of everything you had just to win. Now it's a little more, more balanced. So even the worst of players can beat the game. Help. I, could, I tried it easy mode and it was on this. Actually, uh, compared to the original game, I only had to. All clear for now. Can, uh, compared to the original game, I only had to uh, change difficulty to an easier one once. Now it's during this final mission in the, in the game. On this this is gonna get him. So. You know. Just that proves itself to be quite a okay, bit easier, in a sense, in a way. You, it, you feel like you're more of a part, more of a part, playing a bigger part in this game than the original. Where you basically, you could pretty much never go above 25% um, of uh, the total the cost damage or uh, kills in the original. In this, I. On average, I get good. above 50% easily. 50-60%. So, you feel you play a much bigger part. Just look at that. This is one. This is the first mission mission in the game, sure, but you feel like you have a much bigger part in this game. And the fact that you you can play as a different characters, you get a lot more weapons and such perks. Even you get a I like in the original game you where you can have like eight turrets maybe I don't know uh, eight different turrets or something I don't know how many exactly but in this game you can only have four sure it sounds stupid in the pay on paper but it makes things a lot more interesting you have to be careful with what you choose and what you pick will have a much greater impact on the gameplay itself. And like I said, do, uh, different characters can do different king uh, things. I mean, <clears throat> Sky Autumn, for example, this is this is the original character as well. She looks a bit different from the original game, but that's her actually. Uh, Assault rifles and can double jump and deal more damage for every hit. This is her sister, apparently. I know I never knew about her before this game, anyway. Rock, the rocket launcher, a uh, girl, I guess. Great air control, sets the targets on fire, nice. Uh, similar robot apparently, and, and a sniper. And Hawken. Shotgun guy. I'm just gonna go similar. So yeah, here you can see, I got everything unlocked, so... Here's all the weapon, here's the, all the secondary weapons. You can't change your primary weapon, which is kind of... Meh, I guess, but it makes sense, I guess. Uh, I mean, character weapons and shit. So yeah, this guy is a sniper, but he is, deals more damage per, for weak shots. So here, I can only have four turrets, like I said, and there's quite a few. Most of them are just rip off some from the original game, giving a new, a little bit of a spice up. You know, they look better than the original, I can say that much. Mines didn't exist in the last game. Well, well, they did exist, but you can like place them out and stuff like that. Oh well. Uh, what's? Oh, that's piss. Uh, I can't. Re I don't really need to choose that much. So yeah, perks as well. They have quite a bit of an impact on the gameplay itself. So explosive or wasn't there something? Here? So yeah, quite a few perks here, as you can see. All of them have a pretty big impact on what you do. There was one perk here I wanted, where was it? Increases damage, closer, 